I will survive this by six. What? <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Jurassic World Alive, where the game has had a ginormous update. Um, they have added a whole bunch of new dinosaurs. There are new hybrids. I say a new bunch of dinosaurs. There are a few, a few new additions, if I'm right. Yes, here we go. So, uh, right off the bat, uh, one of the new ones is this guy, um, the Ankylodicurus. Ankylodicurus. You might be able to just max up pretty quick. I'm just trying to see what goes into it. Yeah, got plenty of those. That's something you could probably get really quick. Um, the other hybrid is the Dacotanops, the Gorgonops and Dakotaraptor. I obviously don't have Dakotaraptor. That's a new dinosaur. Right? Have I not? No, I haven't. Dakota Raptor is a legendary. Oh, sorry, I should say an epic. <laughs> epic. Okay, well, I haven't come across that yet. Uh, we got this guy, which is made out of the Overraptor and Dilophosaurus, which makes some very weird looking thing. Like, I love it though. I love it. it's got a little crest at the top. It's always been, where does the crest go? At the top of the, the top of the head or the bottom of the neck? Well, could the crest be down at the neck or would it be at the top of the head? Apparently it's at the top of the head. One's Dakota Raptor and the other one's Over Raptor. So they're the only differences. Now, when it comes to the game, um, there have been a few new abilities. Over Raptor and Over Lophosaurus have got their own new ability, a new strike called the Devious Strike, which means they gain 75% chance to dodge 66% of damage uh, for two turns and increased crit chance of 30% for two turns as well. I target's highest HP attack one times and reduce the opponent's damage by 25% for four turns lasting two. Uh, four attacks lasting two turns. Uh, another one is the Revenge Cunning Rampage from D Dakonops, Dakotanops, and Superiority Rampage from the Ankylodocorus, which is this guy. Um, the only other big difference uh, that has added or been changed to the game is the Gripolith, which is the unique uh, crocodile. Yeah, level 28. This guy. Um, uh, now, it says in my notes that it's currently in verification, awaiting a push. So I don't know whether this is true or not. Uh, but its greater emergency heal is being changed to an emergency heal. Oh, it already has. Ah, there you go. So it doesn't heal as much, I don't think. But it still gets priority. Uh, also, its attack base going from a 1,100 to 1,250. So it's an increase of 150, which is good. Um, its stun resistance, instead of 100% now, is 75%. And its swap percent uh, prevention was 0%. But now it's 76%. The chance of an opponent stopping this creature from swapping out. And on to the, uh, the events. I know we're already on Wednesday, but here they are. <laughs> Uh, we have, um, for Wednesday and Thursday, we've got Triceratops, T-Rex Gen 2, and Carnotaurus. So, not too bad, Carnotaurus. <laughs> Sorry, I've been live streaming all day. Um, Friday to Saturday, uh, Baryonyx and Sino with a Baryonyx Incubator on the Friday. And then the Sunday being the rare and very hard to find Parasaur Lux, um, a creature that um, I actually came on last night. Uh, just to do the rounds and it was just like on me. It just spawned on me. I was like, whoa, what's going on? And then I set off a Giga scent. I ended up coming cr coming across loads of dinosaurs. A, a woolly mammoth spawned, a, um, a Carbonemi spawned. It's like, what? I don't normally get these. So I wonder if Ludia has made changes to um, just the general game and what Giga scent could get you. Because those were creatures that I never come across. Um, Baryonyx Gen 2 was in there. Um, there were some other ones as well. I was like, huh, I don't have to come across these. So I'm really not too sure. But anyway, those were the events. Um, so in today's episode, or for today's episode, I'm wanting to get Mortem Rex leveled up to level 28. 
um, we're this close. We're so, we're five off. Basically, we win a battle. We got to level 28. I can't wait. I really can't. We've also got Hadrosaur Lux in our team. I've tried to boost it as much as I can. Uh, there you go. Just got another attack boost. It's all going to be attack boosts. This thing will survive a, a hit from anything straight off the bat. It will also do a counter to slow down the enemy. And then you get to do twice the damage back. Or what you, what you can do. So... And then it can do like a greater emergency heal, which is what friggin' Grippolith used to be able to do. Let's do a mortem raid, shall we? Yeah! I think we got it. I think we got it. I'm not sure. I think we might have got it. We got a rare one. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited about this. This is gonna be good. So, oh, I, oh, I didn't take the music off. Damn. Okay, well, we're gonna have regular game music. <laughs> this is the Indoraptor. Gen 2 strap. Uh, this should work out. Okay, okay. So Indoraptor is gonna go for a mutual fury. I am the dealer Cheris, which means, I, do I, ha I need a boost? I don't know, I don't know. This is gonna be interesting, it's the first time I'm doing it. But we'll have to wait and find out, won't we? So the speed boost goes to everybody and then... Ooh, the Ardentist isn't as fast as me, but I'm targeting Mortem, so he, he's damage decreased. And then he's also... What else is he? He's crit reduced, that's it, okay. So, this will be interesting. This is the first time I've had to break out Dino Cheros for any reason. <laughs> is this a strong... Oh, it wasn't a crit. Oh, it's enough, though. It's enough. Very well done. We did it. We did it. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. All right. Come on. No crit chance and reduced. Whoa. Interrupted. Whoa. Take it in. Um, I guess a distraction from Interrupted and a distraction from me. And then a heal from Turo. So this should be a one, two, three, four, five round. Five rounds each. There should be a five round each. So I'm going for the distraction. We've got a heal coming through. Yes, we're doing good. Oh, I'm excited. Yay, something different. Because <laughs> normally the strike I go for is Turo Moloch, then uh, Tristornix, or Dennis Maxima, and is that it? You know, the regular, the regular, what everyone else does. That one. Because everyone's got, everyone's got an Ardentus. Everybody's got a Turo Morlock. Um, or at least most people, you know, who do the raids all the time. Oh, uh, no crit on this friggin' Ardentus Maxima. That's so unlucky. But the reduction and the no crit chance. Very good. I mean, when I first did these raids, I had a super boosted uh, Dilo Cheris. Uh, so I'll go for, he's going for greater heal. I just go for... I don't know why he's going for that. I mean, this is supposed to be my chance to attack, but... I guess... <laughs> I mean, it's only the Ardennis that's took a hit, so I guess there's... Oh, no! Oh, that's not so good! Oh, it's because... <laughs> Silly Tura Moloch! Oh, I see what happened there. He tried to heal the Ardentus, but even the Ardentus being hurt had more health than Indoraptor Gen 2. <laughs> so it just got healed. So unfortunately, right, hopefully, the Ardentus doesn't get hit here. Never mind, the Ardentus gets it and gets a crit and almost dies. Oh! You see, now I need to heal here. I need to heal Ardentus. I need to heal Ardentus. But it only heals 4,000. I need to do it, though. I need to do it. And then Turmolet can get a little hit off. Like, I just have to. Oh, let's just go for slow. Yeah, just go for the slow. That's what you need to do. You need to keep him slow. I don't think he's quicker than anything. I don't think so. But we've got the group acceleration here. We're doing it a little bit out of order. Because I think two of our guys don't do this strategy. And probably don't have it up on the computer or anything. Whereas I do, so otherwise I'd be in the same position. I'd be like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> so we're going to hit through. Um, if it's a crit, I think the Interrupted Gen 2 is dead. 
think it's dead. I think it's dead. Oh, it's alive! How on earth is it alive? I have no idea. We need to do 10,000 damage here, guys. I don't know how we're doing it. <laughs> can the Turmolek heal? Turmolek can heal. I can go for a big hit. I have to go for the big hit. I have to. I, we have to reduce him. And the Adendus has to go for a big hit. Has to go for a big hit. There we go. I think we're going to end up having to do one more. I could be wrong here. The Mutual Fury is good because it means that Turmolok's heal does more. Um, but it depends. He's, he's probably going to target the uh, the Ardennis, right? Oh, it's only 2,400! Oh, no! Uh, well, it's 5,000 and odd damage if Ardennis gets a crit, right? Or just does it. Oh, we need a crit. We need a crit here from Ardentis. We need it. Oh, we get it! Oh, we get it! <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work, man. <laughs> okay, um. Right, our Dennis can still go for the slow. Okay, so we've killed the minions, but then a cleanse comes through. And I honestly don't think that we're gonna survive this cleanse, man. The cleanse is gonna come through. I don't have priority heal! I just don't have priority heal. Although. Okay, uh, I guess I could go for heal. I mean, he's gonna cleanse himself, right? He's gonna cleanse himself, so I'll heal. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, it's gotta work out, right? In theory, right? Because the emergent heal's going on the Ardennis. That's good. Then a heal coming from me uh, hits everybody. The cautious strike re reduces the attack of the Mortem, which is good. It doesn't really matter because he's going to cleanse himself, isn't he? Now, we should all be back to full health. Almost. There's a little bit missing on the Ardennis. Now, 5,500 coming through from this should kill all the minions, which it does. Okay. It's completely off script, but it's working. <laughs> We're doing good, guys. We're doing it. And this is a level 22 Indoor Raptor Gen 2. I think I have a level... Um, oh, it was a crit, though. Ay, 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 I didn't like that. Um, what do we do here? Should I go for... Uh, ooh, unless Tura Morlock can go for regular heal. Um, he's going for a big hit. He's going for a big hit on somebody. Uh, whoever's got the most health. Which is... Oh, I think we just go for distraction. I think of, with Indoraptor's distraction, my distraction... I don't think he's going to kill. I don't think he's going to kill our dentist. I could be wrong, though. <laughs> I mean, he's not getting a crit, right? So he's definitely survived. God, some people think the Mortem's easy. I don't think it's easy. I think the easiest is Sarah Magnus and Hadros. They're the easiest. Because, but I guess... This is tough, because we're doing Indra Gen 2. If it was just the regular Tura Moloch and Tristornix, I think we'd be okay. So in comes the big hit. I survived. <laughs> right, I can do the heal now. Um, yeah, he, okay, he's doing the heal. So should I just do a reg? I should just, just do distraction. I'll do distraction. I'll do distraction. I think we're good. I think we're good. A heal coming. And a mutual fury coming through. And then I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. I really feel like we shouldn't have won this one. <laughs> oh, there's the heal. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, so I'm taking away the... Uh, oh, did he... Oh, Mutual Fury. And I remove his buff, did I? I forget Mutual Fury boosts him. I forget about that. Oh, oh, a crit. Yes. That almost 7,000 damage. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, he survived. <laughs> He's done it somehow. <laughs> Don't know how. Okay, now just big hits. I think, right? I could be wrong. No, I think I think I should heal now. I think I'm going I'm going for like a regular heal. I think. Yes. Because he's gonna cleanse anyway. And I might as well just heal everybody. I I possibly should have went for the priority heal, but then again. Yeah, yeah, I think it's safe. It's safe. I have to heal everybody here. We're gonna do it. We're actually amazed. 
<laughs> How on earth? Jeez. There it is. There we go. We're back to full health. And we're getting a 5,000 damage through. Possibly. Oh, 7,000. Bam. And that's it. Yeah, we're done. That's a GG. That's a GG is what that is. Oh, he does get a crit though. Okay. Um, kills Indoraptor. Oh, bless. The cry face. <laughs> bless. Oh, well. Just, you think we should target the boss? All right. Uh, I'll just go for a big hit. I mean, Odennis has done it. Yeah, Odennis has done it. I think Odennis is going to get the final hit. I think. Depends how much damage. I don't think I do 5,000. But... The damage coming from Arden should finish him. And even then, we're good. Because only one of us is being taken out. Oh! Oh, I don't know, like... This is going on one more. Oh, it is! Bye-bye, <laughs> Ardentis! <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and, um... What should we do here? Yeah, just regulate <laughs> Took one turn longer. We went off script. But you know what? Turumola got the kill. Well done. Well done, Turum. Okay, all I need is five. That's all I need. All I need is five. Well done, John C. Mr. Day and Saber. You did great. Okay, what do we get? What do we get? Come on. Come on, be good. Be good. Be like 50. I haven't had 50 in ages. <laughs> Oh, 25, I'll take it. It's the five I needed, 170. Whoa. Oh, and an, a T-Rex gen. Oh, hold on. Hold on, guys. We need to dart this. We need to dart this before we go anywhere. Oh, yeah. I forget. I'm on an iPad. Oh, no. <laughs> What's that? Beaver didn't get a direct hit on every shot? He's awful. Okay, so are you ready? Being leveled up, the health increase, the attack increase from 5,197 health, 3,150 attack to... <gasps> Whoa, 260 health and 157 extra attack. So what does that mean I can do? What damage can I do? Almost 5,000 damage in a single hit. 40% chance. Okay, hold on, hold on. Bring up a calculator. Okay, so if I get a crit, I do 6,945 damage. Almost 7,000 damage. Oh, that is crazy. Oh, and we can increase as well, because we've leveled up once. So I could increase my health, basically 130. But I think 5,000 health is more than enough. I think I might as well just increase the speed. I'll increase the speed by one. You never know, it might make the difference. So, how about we celebrate by taking, you know, the new Morton Rex out for a spin, shall we? Now, our lives are in the RNG gods. Will it be in the loadout? <laughs> no. No, it's not. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, well, that's interesting. Uh, we have a Hadro, I suppose. Uh, he's faster. Um, I mean, what's he gonna do? He's probably gonna go for greater emergency heal. In which case, we should probably just rampage and run. Yeah, I think, yeah, the great emergency heal comes through. And then we still do like 4,000 and odd damage, so he's dead anyway. <laughs> yeah. Hey, at least, hey, facing up against the Hadro, we won, but nice to see. You don't see uh, too many Hadros. I didn't even check what its stat was, but uh, thanks, Cal, for that. That was good. And our survey said... <laughs> oh, everything but God damn it. Oh, he was hoping for that crit. He was really hoping for that crit. If I get a crit here, though, son... Oh, I didn't. I didn't. I don't think I would have killed you. He's gonna... Now, okay. So what's he gonna do? What's his normal speed? What, 120? I might as well... I'm, uh, just switching Draco. <laughs> just give me the 2 nil for now. I'll take it. I'll happily take it. That's good. That's good. Take that. Oh, with the yawn. Well, we got a point of laugh at the yawn. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's gonna be a lot of damage. It's gonna be a lot of damage. Oh, and the crit killed me. <laughs> nice. Uh, well, he's got like a 5,600. Um, and eight. 
So I might be able to kill- if I- I might be able to just flipping survive this. If he gets a crit, I'm dead. I will survive this by six. What? <laughs> Two! <laughs> That's <was> brilliant! <laughs> oh. Yay! Bam! Uh, should I go for a hit? Or should I heal? Should I just go for a hit? Yeah, I saw that. Let's go for a hit. Yeah, I knew he'd sw swap out. Ooh, a Titana Boa. Interesting, interesting. Ah, uh, but the Resilient Rampage. Who's up? Boom! <laughs> no! My two health! <laughs> okay, well, what should we do? I mean, what can he go for here? Evasive stance? Yeah, pretty much just to guarantee the kill here. And if he swaps out to Tenado, it's done. So, well played. That was... I thought I was going to lose that one. That was very close. Yeah, he knows. He knows. He's like, well, I could evasive stance and then get a counter off, but he's going to die anyway. That was very close. Whew. Go from 2-0 to 3-2. Oh, it's Cal again? Oh, I'm so sorry, Cal. <laughs> okay, don't be Cal again. Don't be Cal again. And give me Mortem, please. Mortem's all I want. Mortem's all I want, please. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Why? Is it Callum again? It's freaking... Is it freaking Callum again? Oh no, this one has more health. It has more... Oh, it's level 30 as well. Oh. Oh. oh I'm only better than it by one like, so it's close. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Just that one speed. Just that one speed boost has, has basically change this entire game so I can win it now. Or at least change this. So I just go for this big hit and then he's dead. I wonder if it's- oh, he's scared about losing his Trico. That's interesting. Okay, okay. Now do I get a hit back for that? I think I do. Yeah, okay, he's definitely dead. He's definitely dead. Right, so he wants to keep his Trico. He's used his Draco. Interesting. He's got the same team as me. Oh, Mortem! Mortem Rex. Oh, what's his attack? 3,000? Oh, I don't like it. It should be 3,000. Why is it not 3,000? Okay, so he does 4,000 damage in one hit. So, should we risk it and go for the early, early Dominus, like, cloak and then hit? I think we should. I think we should, Sonic. <laughs> I mean, I could go for the guaranteed, like, kill him next turn. Ah, uh, should we do that? It's risky, because if he goes for a big hit and kill- Yeah, I'll just go for the guaranteed kill next turn. Yeah, it's better. It's better to do it this way. Yes. I mean, I guess? Yeah? 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 Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Right, so what's he got? Trichosaurus. He's got Trichosaurus. Trichosaurus and Mortem. It just depends what his final creature is. Oh, he's swapping into it. Oh, it's Trico. He just wants to get a hit off? What? Oh, interesting. Oh, ho, ho. so he does get a hit and he gets a crit. That, ooh, ooh. Okay, let's see, what is it? What is it? Oh, well, I thought he was gonna swap. Okay, come on. What will it be? What is it? It's not a Mortem, because it's not, if you just put Mortem, he's just given up. Oh, it's Urlispix. Interesting. Um, ooh, what could he go for? Could go for revenge. Is he just is always immune to distraction? Oh, oh, I've lost. I think. Oh, maybe. Oh, Hadrosaur Lux could come out. Oh, yes, resisted. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> I'm the slowing down. <laughs> Oh dear, this is great. <laughs> the precise pounds! Damn! Resisted! And the slow, you ready, son? Bam! Now in comes your worst nightmare. If I get a crit here, I've won, but I got like a 5% chance. <laughs> if you get a crit. can't take any more. That's like three wins in a row. There was no chance of me winning there. No, it's 5%. That was it. If, he, if I hadn't killed him, he would have hit me. Didn't matter what I did. I guess I could have switched into 
uh, Magnetator, but then he would have just done a speed up and then that would have been, that would have been it really. Uh, wow, okay, you know what, okay, next time we'll look at Mortem, that's enough for me. The video's been long enough, and if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye bye.